This can be done on all versions of Windows and I'll show it on Windows 11. For starters, open Windows settings and find display settings. Before you can change them, turn off the night light. If your monitor supports HDR, you don't have to use this tutorial, because if HDR is turned on, your computer will adjust things immediately. But if your monitor doesn't support HDR, you should continue. Click on the Start menu and type Calibrate Display Color. Here is an important note. If you want to calibrate the display correctly, you should be sitting right in front of it, like you do when you work with your computer every day. This window will appear. As you can see, here are some hints, the steps for correct calibration. If you are using several monitors at the same time, drag this window to the monitor you want to calibrate and click Next. You can find this button in the bottom right corner. To start working configure main color settings, press the menu button. Usually, this button can be found on the lower panel of your monitor. In my case, it is on the right side of the lower panel. Have a look into the user manual supplied with your monitor to learn the location of specific buttons and what they do. Get all settings to factory default values and click Next to continue in the calibration window. You will be suggested to adjust gamma so it looks like the example in the middle. Click Next. For illustration, I'll show you a gamma which is too low and a gamma which is too high, and adjust the slider so that the dots will become barely visible. Let's move on to the next step, adjusting brightness and contrast. You'll need the display settings which I have mentioned a bit earlier. If you're happy with the default brightness level, you can click Skip Brightness and Contrast Adjustment. Change the display settings like in this picture and try to make the X letter barely visible, but avoid merging the jacket and the dark background. Contrast adjustment means a comparison between dark and very light areas of an image. Adjust the settings in the next page so that wrinkles and buttons on the shirt are visible. The next stage is adjusting the proper color balance by setting the right shade of gray. Get the shade you prefer. Now the operating system suggests comparing the changes you have made to the display settings. You are prompted to click on either button – Previous Calibration or Current Calibration. If you are satisfied with the adjustment results, click Finish and the settings will be applied. To revert all settings to their default values, click Cancel. Remember that the settings you changed using the monitor buttons will not be restored, so if you want to change them again, you have to do it manually. If you don't remember what settings your monitor had, most likely they were factory defaults. To get back to them, use the feature available in all monitors, look through the menu and find the reset option. Finally, the last step – text adjustment. Please note that the calibration menu has this option – Start Clear Type Tune Up. This is actually the tool to adjust how the monitor displays text. Check the box next to the option, turn on clear type, and I recommend doing that. Or uncheck it if you find it unnecessary. So, check the box for clear type and click Finish. Choose a picture where the text is the best to read and click Finish. The settings have been applied. To disable the clear type feature, type its name, clear type, in the Windows search field. Stop this tool and disable it by unchecking the box. If you encounter a display calibration failure for some unknown reason and you can't restore it back to normal, reinstall the graphics driver can be a solution you need. We have a detailed video tutorial about downloading and installing a graphics driver in our channel, so follow the link in the description. 
As we have seen today, the factory default calibration is not always the best and may not suit a particular user's eyes. Everyone's got different eyesight peculiarities and your environment conditions can be unique. Display calibration is quite an easy thing to do and sometimes it is advisable to adjust your monitor for better user experience. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to Hetman Software channel. See you again in another video.